hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the juice from the palace of uni of ife uh, allegedly oh, hmm, they said only of your first palace is in scramble as in everywhere is doing kata kata and be smarting over the fact that the protective charm is still missing uh, according to the story they said the reason why a lot of things has been happening to the king only of Ife recently is because uh, out of the seven protective charms that he is using that one have been taken out of it and the worst part of it is that that one when one is taken out of the seven of it the remaining six will be inactive and again they said it has been long that that thing was taken away but the king did not notice you know and that is why sometimes it looks as if he doesn't know what he's doing where he will say he said he will do this you will see him doing another thing according to the ifa priest they said that was why the women were able to manipulate him to some extent you know but and right now that he have uh, noticed that that uh, is missing they said they have searched for it everywhere in the palace and it is nowhere to be found and you know for such a vital thing it is only someone who is too close too too close to the king that will take it away and that is why all fingers are pointing at the wives you know because according to the information they say it is a taboo for the king to remove it outside the palace so it could not be one of the occasion where they say he, should, he traveled uh, according to the information he cannot remove it when he travel out so probably he might feel relaxed in his palace and decide to take it out and that was when the thing uh, was missing i know that was how it got missing so and uh, right now the problem right now is that none of the wives have agreed or said anything concerning it all of them keep claiming that they don't know anything about it they don't, they don't know short as a matter of fact none of them are accepted that she is aware of what happens to the protective charm and from now they said the king don't attend certain function because of that you know because in as much as uh, uh, the women are manipulating some elders too will try to challenge him without those uh, beads those charms like they said so after a series of searching this happened some weeks we started hearing about this some weeks ago yes but right now they said after uh, investigation searches and everything it is nowhere to be found then the far priests have insisted that the women in his life have to swear if they know anything about it or if they have ever touched it but the problem right now is that the families of some of these oloris especially uh, Ronke and Ashley's family they have insisted that the wives their children as in their daughters will not swear saying that uh, their children know the implication of taking away that thing from the king so they are they, that a daughter of the soil that an Ileife woman will not try anything like that you know so on that note they will not be made to swear that if there's anyone that will swear it will be women from the other places that are not from Ife here and that has been a, a, a very big problem right now because a lot of people have insisted especially the wives some of them have insisted that if they must swear that all of them are going to swear and the the good part of it is that if the wives if their hands are clean it is never going to affect them in any way you know but they said the wives among themselves that they are pointing accusing finger on Runke and Mariam they are the two people who can take both steps to do such a thing you know but they are denying it they are saying that they don't know anything about it but the problem right now is why would the families of Runke and Ashley them say that their daughter will not swear if they have nothing if they know nothing about it since they also know that if their daughters are innocent that nothing will happen to them it will be better that they allow their daughters to swear too that is if their hands are clean with this uh, their refusal 
It simply means that they know something about it. Yes, so they know something about it. So that is where we are. They said the problem uh, is not a small thing. It is not a small thing at all. That the wives are saying, I am not going to swell, I am not going to swell. Then, but they have to. That is the only way to prove their innocence because the king cannot be with people that he no longer trusts. This is complete withdrawal of trust. So it will be better that they take the oath, they swear, so that the king will know exactly the type of people that he is living with. And this is why it is very, very important that he send them out of this palace. In as much as they might still remain uh, his wives, this is very, very important. Because if they keep moving like this, wahala godeo, wahala gode. Eh? One day they go by the young man, but God will not allow that to happen for the sake of Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenikawo. It is never going to happen. But that is to tell you that the palace is not safe. Not for the king, not for anyone. Because the same person that had gathered the momentum, the morale to do this, will do worse than that. Knowing the implication. Knowing that the king will be a porous to some uh, elders, especially those ones that hate him, that he is in that throne. Because the wife's case, although some of the elders are working hand in hand with the, wi with the wives, and that is why a thing like this will happen, and some elders will say that, no, this person will not swear, this person will not swear. Because if they are not working with the women, and they say the women will swear, they will be the first to say, look, oh, you must swear. You have to swear that you don't know anything about it. But because they know what they are covering, they know that uh, they might be the people holding it. That is why they are trying to. But I don't expect the king to keep quiet and allow them. Anyway, anyway the thing is that uh, it is a very difficult uh, situation right now. It is a very difficult situation. But let's hope and pray that uh, they will come out positively. Because they said all this why why it looks as if the king doesn't want to force any them any one of them to swear is that after threatening that the person will pay with his life and all of that he was expecting that uh, one of them will go and drop it or bring it out to say one of I don't know I don't know I don't just know these people they are mean no they are mean a lot of people are saying that Runke is this so Runke is had her mission in the palace is to dethrone the king and all of that which other way do you uh, explain it? If eventually they are the ones that took this protective, it's just for them to take it away from the man so that they will be able to manipulate him. But the one thing they don't know is that for the fact that uh, Queen Naomi is involved and he is still married to Queen Naomi, the God of Queen Naomi will not let that to happen to him. If not for anything, for the sake of Prince Tadenikawo. So guys, now the uh, gist too, I just saw it and I thought I should come and share with you. Don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace with them. Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe. If you're returning subscriber, thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up and share it. My God will bless you. Bye for now. I love you guys.